Oh, absolutely not. We're not about to do this. Dred Scott, Plessy versus Ferguson, Citizens United, the Supreme Court has always been an illegitimate body that is designed to maintain the power of the vulture class, period. And short-sighted thinking like this is why people still to this day blame Ralph Nader for 2000 rather than the Supreme Court when the Supreme Court fucking handed the presidency to Bush. The worst person on the Supreme Court right now is fucking Clarence Thomas. Who helped get Clarence Thomas onto that bench? Who? You tell me. I am really sick, especially given what we're facing, of the myopic liberalism, which holds that, like, one election a couple years ago is the reason for all our problems. This is the country you live in and have always lived in. This is a problem. This is a series of problems that begins with the long march of this country, period. This is what this country is built on. This is what this country will always lead to until we take the power back and do something fucking different. It's not even that hard, okay? It's not even that hard. There are so, that's why they need so much violence to uphold all this stuff. That's why they need so much propaganda. That's why I'm so serious about like TV shows and things being propaganda for the vulture class, because in every measurable way, they control our minds so that we think that this is all legitimate in any way at all. And it's not. We don't have to live like this. I want a woman as president. I want a, I want a queer black trans woman as president. But that particular woman you're talking about was not going to be the answer to our problems, okay? And the, the fact that people still are holding on to her, it's like holding on to a fairy tale. It's like the tooth fairy or something like that. Like, if only, if only. No, you need to wake up. I'm saying that as kindly as I can at this point. The history is all there. That was not a good person. The choices we had been given show how illegitimate this whole system is. The fact that we are stuck in the current situation we're in with SCOTUS shows how illegitimate this whole system is. And I don't know what it is about this country, but we almost uniquely seem to be the weakest link. We don't fight. We acquiesce. We say there's nothing we can do. And somehow still say that we're the greatest. I don't understand how so much cognitive dissonance, and it runs through liberals and conservatives too, like all the American exceptionalism is wild. This is the worst country. Because we have the most power, and because we export our miseries all over the world, okay? Say what you want to about how we have lifted some people out of poverty. For every one person we have lifted out of poverty, we have put thousands into it across the world. I understand the fear of change that will be necessary. I understand it. In fact, if you are not afraid, there's something not right with you. But it is only by contending with that fear and looking at the world as it really is that we have any hope going forward.